Horror fans, I'll cut all the intro and bullshit, I want to get straight to the point, I want you to be invested totally in this scene from Japanese psychological horror movie, Cure, directed by Kiyoshi Kurosawa. Our guy is, Mamiya, he is brought into the hospital for amnesia. People think he is just another poor and sweet guy who lost his memory. But in reality, he is the devil himself. The physician who will examine Mamiya is a relatively new hire. She already seems off, and Mamiya is going to take a chance on it. The doctor appears a little down and apathetic but yet professional to her work. She is also on the verge of falling into Mamiya's trap. He will merely use his hypnotic methods to cleanse her mind and get her ready for a murder in which she will bear sole responsibility for her actions. And, Mamiya is going to be far from the blood. She informed him that he would be placed in a psychiatric ward tomorrow after checking him out and finding no physical issues other than a minor sprained ankle. However, she asks Mamiya, in a somewhat sympathetic manner, how far back he remembers, and, if he has any worries. Mamiya responses. Mamiya has already succeeded at presenting himself as a sympathetic figure with his calm and unassuming demeanor, now it is time to express concern or empathy for the doctor's circumstances. When the doctor moves to the sink, he says. The doctor couldn't believe her ears, but Mamiya successfully inserted the first seed into her brain. When she comes back to her desk, she couldn't help but think about what Mamiya meant by, she is the one with worries, so she asks. Mamiya simply replies that he don't remember, which makes sense to the doctor. The conversation stops but the mental manipulation has just began. In previous instances, he had already wielded his mystical hypnotic powers on several victims. Within the hypnotic elements, he mostly employed fire to induce hypnosis, but inside the confines of the hospital where smoking is prohibited, he adapts his methods. With deliberate movements, he approaches the sink, where he fills a glass with water, creating a rhythmic sound that draws the doctor's attention. Taking his time, he slowly fills the glass with drops of water. He lets his victim fall into the trap. His confident demeanor belies any need to glance back. He knows he has successfully captivated his target. And then, he delivers the most taunting dialogue I ever heard. Here, we witness the vulnerability of the human psyche with Mamiya's insidious manipulation of the lady doctor's mind. Her eyes are hooked on the water. She is completely under command of Mamiya's voice. Being a doctor might help her showing some resistance, but not enough to override Mamiya's orders. It's time to delve much deeper into the doctor's mind now. Mamiya approaches the victim more closely. He talks about how society views being a woman and becoming a doctor as being worthless. He helps her in recalling all of the hardships and difficult emotions she had to go through to become a doctor. Now, notice here, her eyes are shut. Mamiya thrust the physician far into her past. <laughs> He already implanted triggers that will compel her to carry out his bidding at a later time. He is done victimizing the doctor, and at last he will put the cherry on top by suggesting. We are aware that, insane people cannot be hypnotized nor can idiots or fools. Furthermore, every one of Mamiya's victims is an educated individual who harbors repressed fury. Teachers, police inspectors, physicians, detectives, and even psychiatrists are on his victim list. 
individuals from a society that is fundamentally dysfunctional. To Mamiya, he simply cured them. I consider anyone possessing this kind of psychological power and evil intentions to be the ultimate villain. The most terrifying thing about Mamiya's character, is that he doesn't actually carry out these crimes, instead, his influence spreads like a virus, infecting people around him and inspiring them to carry out senseless acts of violence. It resembles the concept of pure evil almost exactly. Criterion famously writes, it is possible to regard Mamiya's project as utopian, rather than merely negative, and to see Mamiya the way he presumably sees himself, as a savior, though if so, the least that could be said is that he has a peculiar way of saving people. Mamiya is a new age villain, he is unlike any other cinematic villain before him, he lacks overt menace or aggression, his demeanor remains eerily calm, he doesn't raise voice or do threats. Instead, he exerts a mesmerizing influence over others. So far I haven't seen anything like Mamiya's character before. I'm not sure if he is a missionary or a villain. Tell me about your outstanding villain in the comments section. I appreciate you watching my video.